So I've been watching Ryan Trahan videos ever since he did running vlogs. And recently he uploaded a video where he followed The Rock's morning routine. Well, towards the very end of the video, he showed what he uses Notion for on a daily basis between both a journaling page and also his content productions. Entry so far, and I know that that's not every day. For reference, this is an example of my daily journal. I'll operate my YouTube channel on Notion, like all of my video ideas and the if I have a brand deal or not. So I thought it'd be a really fun video to try to recreate them and then give you guys the template. So if you guys are interested in the template, the link is gonna be down below. I'm gonna jump on my computer right now and show you how to recreate Ryan Trahan's Notion. So you're gonna start by building out two pages, one for the YouTube template and one for the journal. We're gonna actually start on a journal and I know it says YouTube planner over here. I accidentally mislabeled the pages when doing this. And you're gonna start with a list view with this database. And you can see that they're gonna have three specific pages over here. For the first one, we're gonna be naming it as daily entries. We're also gonna name one as a list view as personal entries. And then we're gonna have a third board view that just says all entries. And then you're gonna be deleting the other two pages because we do not need those at the moment. And we're gonna be focusing on building out the different sections of the board. Now, Ryan in his video, he segments this based off of different time spans, anywhere from daily all the way to quarterly. So we're gonna create one for daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and also yearly. Now you're gonna notice on the left that there's one for no tags. No big deal with that one. But what Ryan has in his template is he moved that all the way to the right and also hides it. So we're gonna be doing the same exact thing. We're gonna go into daily entries tab now and create a template. That way, when you write for the day, it's already built out. Now. I'm not 100% sure how Ryan built out his. I know we saw an example from The Rock, but I don't know if that's the same day after day. So I made my best attempt at that. What I did in the title is I put at today, so you know it's the specific date. And then I put in brackets task slash goal of the day. On his template, he also had the morning routine. For that specific video, it was for The Rock. Again, don't know for sure if that was something he's gonna keep in his a notion template, maybe just a normal morning routine instead of the rocks crazy 3 a.m. one. But because of that, I still wanted to put that in here. Besides that, we had a few other sections as well, the day to do list and also reflect. Make sure you bold each of those sections so that way it stands out. Now under the reflect section, this is where Ryan wrote what he did at the very end of the day and also was able to put in images and you have that same option. Next thing we wanna do is make sure that you set this as a default. And you have a different option, whether it's all views or daily entries only, make sure you click daily entries only because you don't have this template for either like a weekly or monthly. Again, not sure if Ryan has specific templates for these as they weren't shown. You have the option to be able to create those if you really wanted to. And that saves you time down the road that way you don't have to build out a new template every single week. Like the video, you can rename this one over here so you can see at today rock morning routine. And you can also add in an emoji. So to do that, you click in the left where right now it's a piece of paper and then you can change that. I'm now just renaming the different templates because I accidentally had them flipped when I started building this. So this is journal V1. And then I'm gonna have this as YouTube version one as well. And while we set up the next template, if you guys wanna to subscribe to the channel, that really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate it. Every single week I'm gonna be uploading a Notion tutorial. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys wanna see me also expand out this template, let me know in the comments below. So with the YouTube planner, what Ryan has for his different titles is he has video ID. Uh, but what's kind of interesting is he actually left this as a text field. If I was gonna build this out myself, I'd probably put this as a number, but I'm sure he has his own reason for that. Over at the right, he also has video title. Up next, we have brand and also views. The brand is a multi-select, so you can choose multiple brand sponsors in a specific video. Then you also have packaging content and also exist as checkboxes, so you can quickly reference if those are there. Then we have two dates. We have filming date and also posting date. And one thing I wasn't sure if he had this or not in the template because you couldn't really see it is also the status. But based off of some of the other views that were associated with the board, I had to make my best guess and put this into the database. And before we end up making these other views, I'm just gonna fill out some dummy data in here. We're gonna put his last two videos, the 100 days in Pokemon and also 100 celebrities for his birthday party. Now to create a new view, click the plus icon 
and then go over here and make this a board view. You could change the status with the group by over here and we're going to group by the status. You can see not started in progress and done. So both of them right now are marked as not started. So that's why they are in the far left, but you can easily drag these into in progress or also the done section. We're also going to create a new view of the post date. And what's kind of cool with the calendar is you have the option, either you can do the recording date or also the post date up to you really. Um, but each of the different dates that you see in here, you have the option to show what information you want. So I figured it was kind of important also to show the status of the video, like how far along it was and also the brand or the sponsor. Like the Ryan video, we're going to also change the image of the journal. So we're going to go over here at the top. You're going to go to unsplash and then choose a duck of your choice. So I'm going to choose this one over here. And since the duck doesn't show, I'm going to have to reposition this one. So all I have to do is this, then drag it and you can slowly reveal the duck in progress. There we go. Lastly, you can add in the icon just like I did earlier with the rock. We're going to do the same thing with the planner. We're going to put in the 100 icon, just type in 100 emojis and there you have it. Those are both templates that were shown in his video. Hope you learned a few new tricks about Notion. If you want to learn even more, I have a full 30 minute video here for beginners. Make sure to watch that to learn the very basics.